but he is under guardians and managers until the date set by his father. In the same way, we also, when we were children, were enslaved to the elementary principles of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. But they remain under guardians and trustees until the date set by the Father. So with us, while we were minors, we were enslaved to the elemental spirits of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. The heir is subject to guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. So also, when we were under age, we were in slavery under the elemental spiritual forces of the world. But when the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption to sonship. They had to obey their guardians until they reach whatever age their fathers set, and that's the way it was with us before Christ came. We were like children, we were slaves to the basic spiritual principles of this world. But when the right time came, God sent His Son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent Him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law, so that He could adopt us as His very own children. He is subject to tutors and administrators until whatever date the Father has set for emancipation. That is the way it is with us. When we were minors, we were just like slaves ordered around by simple instructions, the tutors and administrators of this world, with no say in the conduct of our own lives. But when the time arrived that was set by God the Father, God sent His Son, born among us of a woman, born under the conditions of the law, so that he might redeem those of us who have been kidnapped by the law. Thus we have been set free to experience our rightful heritage.